Hello everyone! Thank you so much for checking out today's video tutorial. Today's Canva video request is entitled How to make subtitle videos on Canva or in other words, how to make subtitles for your videos right here on Canva. So let's learn how to do that. Depending on the size or dimensions you'd like your video to be, you can click on custom size right here and then input your desired dimensions and then click on create new design you'll be taken to the editing page or canva editor the canva editor if you like you can also just click this button right here it does the same thing basically so the videos option is also 1920 by 1080 pixels. Yeah, that's the one we chose. That's the one we're going to work on for today's video. So the thing that we're going to do today in order to add a subtitle or subtitles to our video is what I'd like to call the split method. So first, we're going to have to upload our video to Canva first. Um, we're going to go to uploads on the sidebar. And then we're going to click on Upload Files. We're going to select the files that we want to upload. In my case, I'm going to choose this one. But in case you'd like to choose multiple files at the same time, long press the Control button on your keyboard and then continue highlighting the other files you want to upload and then click on Open. As for me, I'll just choose this one. I can click on open and I can just double click also since it's just one file. My file will be uploaded on the videos category. So let's wait for it to load up. Okay, my video file has finished uploading. So we're going to click on it. And in order to fit it into our page, I'm going to right click on it and click on set video as background. And there we go. All right, now we're going to start adding our subtitles. So I'm going to go to the text button on the side panel or on the sidebar, I mean. Um, we're just going to add a simple text box today. So I'm going to click on add a text box. But you can also just press the T key on your keyboard. It'll just do the same thing. So I would like to position my subtitle right over here. And I'd like it to be a certain size. So something like that, perhaps. Okay, I'm going to position it again. And then we're going to start typing our subtitle right here. So I'm going to say... Okay, I guess this one would do. And I'd also like to add text effects to it so that it's more visible because I think we can hardly see our subtitle here. So we're going to click on our subtitle and go to effects. And we're going to choose specific effects that would help our subtitle to stand out or to become more visible or easier to see. Um, I think the best option would be to use the background effect. So yeah, we're going to do that. Just going to adjust the roundness. The spread as well. And I'd also like to adjust our transparency here so that it looks nice. Perhaps 65 would be okay. We can actually input values on these boxes also. All right, I think that's fine. And if you like, you can also add animated effects to your subtitle to make it look nice upon its entrance or even upon its exit too. So we're going to go to animate over here. And let's choose a nice animated effect 
fade is actually really nice, but I'd like it to be more interesting, so... Let's see. I think these are too slow. Alright, maybe I'll just choose baseline. And I'd like it to be animated upon entrance and upon exit. So I'm going to hit both. We can actually also change the direction of our baseline here. I think this one's nice. So from up to down. And we can adjust its speed as well. Okay. By the way, adjusting its speed and direction is only available for Canva Pro users. If you're not a Canva Pro user, that's okay. You'll still be able to use all of these animated effects. Um, it's just that um, using the Pro features won't be really possible. But if you really want to use the Pro features, then you can sign up for um, a free trial period, which is good for 30 days. Okay, I think I'm quite happy with this one, so we're going to move on now. Um, as you may notice, um, our video is a single video on a single page. So if we add subtitles to it, basically our subtitle will be the same all throughout the video, and that's not something we want. So there is a way for us to do it. We're going to drag this um, line marker thingy um, onto the location where we'd like to change our subtitle. So say, for example, over here. So we're going to click on our video track. We're going to place our marker to where we want it to be cut. And we're going to click on this button that looks like three dots. Here we'll have several options. The one you want to use is the split page option. You can even also just use the keyboard shortcut, which is the letter S on your keyboard. So if we click on it or if we hit S on our keyboard, our video will be split into two different pages. So now we can finally change our subtitle for this second part. So let's go ahead and try that. And no worries, since this is a cut um, part of our previous page or previous video, then the effects and the animated effects we applied to it before will also be automatically here. So we don't have to manually add effects to this subtitle anymore. So let's give it a try. Let's play it and see if it worked. Yep, it definitely did. So basically, just keep on splitting your video and keep on changing the subtitle until you finish everything. Okay. And yeah, basically, when it comes to creating subtitles, that's it. Oh, by the way, if you're not really happy with the... um the font, then you can change that. If you click on your text, you'll be able to see the toolbar appear right over here. You'll be able to use several tools here. So you have the fonts over here, you have the size, the font color, and depending on the type of font you're using, you can turn it to bold, italics, even underlined, but in this case, it's not available. You can also change its alignment. You can turn it into either a bulleted list or a numbered list. You can adjust the spacing for each letter or for each line. Once again, you've got effects. You've got animated effects. You've got position as well in case you have multiple layers of elements. You have transparency. And if you click here on more, You'll have the option to underline it. Oh, here it is. Or to turn everything into uppercase. 
to copy the style or to lock your element so that you won't be able to accidentally move it around or change it. And once you're happy with your video, you can then export it and download it. So go to the share button, click on download, make sure to select MP4 as your file type, adjust other download settings here, and then finally click on download. And that's it. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching. and We look forward to seeing you again in the next one. You guys have a great day.